so it's time to create the first assembly of our RoboBird kit. And for this we'll need the wing face as well as the two beak faces. So that's parts number two and also six. And with this we'll be inserting part number six through two. So that way our beak can be held up with the two part sixes and also the beak servo will also be able to be held up by the part number six on the back there. Yep, yep. So what we need to do is add on some glue where my finger is pointing along right here. This way the pieces will be secured in place. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm just using normal wood glue that you can get at uh, your local hardware store. Make sure that um, both notches there are really in tight. And then we can get rid of some of the glue gunk from the other side just with our finger. And then we'll add glue to the other piece, this part piece, yeah, as well. <laughs> and do the same. I'm trying not to get as much gunk on this one, as you can see. And it's important that um, those two pieces there remain separated that same distance. And on to the next thing, which is the scotch yoke pieces. So piece number 10 is sort of the holder and piece number 8 is the actual piece that pushes the beak open and closed. And so we thread piece 8 through 10 and basically we push 10 through the two uh, 6 pieces. <laughs> so just like that there is what you get. It's easier to see it than explain it. And that's basically for the beaks there. And on to the next thing now, which is for the bottom face. So we want that little assembly we just created to stick to the bottom. So it's time to glue it in. And this one you have to really make sure that it's in properly with all the right angles there. So that one wasn't, so we pushed it in a bit more and just a quick visual inspection to make sure everything's right and everything like that. All right, looks good. Now let's add on some glue for these pieces that will be attaching to the back face. And this will help hold basically everything together. It's one of those pieces that's really good to put in as quickly as possible so that before the other ones dry, it will add in some structure to it. There we go. Let's add it in. And just quickly inspect it. Like that piece there needs to be held together a bit more than the others. And yeah. And squish. <laughs> and last but not least, for this step, we'll be adding in the top face without glue, just to hold everything together. And let's uh, look at it all again and make sure it's all neat and tidy for the glue to dry. And now we can just let it stand and wait for it to dry. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see all the steps listed out, you can visit robobird.com. Keep watching the next videos to see the rest of the Robobird kit build progress. And I totally can't wait to see your own Robobird flapping its wings and chirping along and yeah, squawk, squawk, squawk. Okay, cool. So. Keep building robots, woohoo!